Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing very, very well. Today's video is going to be all about blazers and how I like to style them during autumn. So I have six different outfits to show you. Them with three blazers. I've kept it to three even though I have quite a few in my collection. I wanted to show you guys blazers which I feel like most people will have in their wardrobe, especially during this season. Uh, let's do this blazer first. I, I'm going to show you guys my checked blazer first. So this one I actually got from Editing Josephine here. I just want to say that the chatty part of this video is all blurry. Oh, so frustrating. I just started editing this video and I realised that it's all blurry. However, the try-on bits are not blurry. So just ignore me talking and just watch the try-on bit. It was either upload the video like this or not upload it at all. And I'm really trying to be consistent on here so yeah sorry about that Matalan so this represents any kind of autumn patterned blazer so it could be um a check print like this it could be houndstooth um it could be herringbone so it's quite inexpensive but the quality is amazing now I think this one has actually sold out um but they allow but they're allowing people to put their email address whenever it comes back so I'm assuming from that um that the blazer will be restocked at some point so yeah i will link this one from matalan um, but i will also link alternatives so i've styled this blazer up with some blue jeans i really like the way that the check print looks with the blue jeans i just really like how all the tones come together these jeans are my zara slouchy jeans which i've had a while they're kind of like a mom jean so i can't link these ones but i'll link an alternative then i've added a black turtleneck which you guys already know if you've watched my autumn essentials capsule wardrobe video then you already know that turtlenecks are a go-to for me so i've added a black turtleneck and then i finished it off with black accessories the next way which i have styled the blazer is in like a sophisticated showing a little bit of leg being a bit risky <laughs> so i styled the blazer up with this knitted dress this dress is beautiful and the quality is amazing i actually got it from amazon fashion so i'll link it down below i love the way that the brown knit works with the checkered print i think again i think these colors really complement each other and then i've added black boots so these are my knee-high boots from warehouse i have a 15% discount code which i hope is still available i'll leave it down in the description it gets you an extra 15 percent off i've actually belted the dress to make it a little a little bit shorter because i want it to be fun and then i've added my mulberry zipped base water the burgundy tones where it's beautiful with the brown knit and also the checkered blazer when it comes to blazers my holy grail is always a black blazer you will never go wrong with a black blazer and it took me ages to find the perfect one i started it up in two ways the first way is very casual so i start the blazer up with this knitted jumpsuit from pretty lavish i have this jumpsuit in this beige color and also in black so comfortable this is like my kind of lounge wear during autumn winter um i'll just wear this throw on a cardigan on top if i'm at home all day but i've decided to style it up with this blazer because i just like the way that the very casual jumpsuit looks with a smart blazer and then i've added some converse just to keep it extra casual and then for my bag i've gone for this mini backpack from fairfax and favor i love the suede tones i think the suede chocolatey tones works really well and um, with the beige jumpsuit and I just want to show you guys a way that a black blazer which you think is very serious um how you can style it in a more casual in a more casual relaxed way so the second way which I'm styling the black blazer is more smart so I've popped on a stripe knitted vest now i got this one from zara maybe two three years ago I've had this one for a long time and i just think it's a really nice layering piece i've thrown on the blazer i've added on some black straight jeans which are just super casual the jeans are slightly faded so it just casuals down the outfit a little bit more and then i've added on my black backless loafers i've had these ones for a while in my wardrobe i recently got them resold so that they i wouldn't slip on the floor backless loafers and loafers in general are a wardrobe staple and then i finished it off with a black belt and a black bag again so the third and final blazer is i've got to admit this one is my favorite i talked about this blazer quite a lot it's currently not available but i will link a very similar one from cos it's similar tone but not as 
thick. First way I style the blazer is a very chic look. It's very privacy and I just love that. So I popped on a black cashmere knit. Ah, oh, cashmere knits. They're just oh, totally worth the investment. This one I have is from Uniqlo. I talked about it in my capsule wardrobe video as well. Highly recommend. I will link it in the description box. And then I popped on some blue jeans. These ones are from Abercrombie, I think. I'll link them if they're still available, but any kind of straight leg jean with a frayed bottom will work really well in this outfit. And then I've styled them up with these boots from LK Bennett. These are new in my wardrobe and I'm obsessed with them, okay? They are a little bit on the pricey side, but the quality, the way that they look, the versatility, oh, I'm so happy that I have these in my wardrobe. So they're a pointed suede boot, but they just have that lower heel so you can wear them every day um, for the office, for just casual life, for strolling, for Parisian outfit. <laughs> and then I've added my blazer and thrown on a cream knit on top, just over the shoulder. I think this is what makes it Parisian, if you know what I mean, like Parisian chic. I've added a little black bag. This is also from LK Bennett. Again, it's a slightly on the premium side, but the quality of this bag is just chef's kiss. It's beautiful. I haven't stopped wearing it. I've had it for about a week and I've worn it a lot. <laughs> a lot it's in this beautiful soft supple leather so it reminds me of the louis vuitton capucine bag i think and then the second way which i have styled the blazer is with this black knitted dress which i got last year from h&m it's just a very casual looking dress it's quite long so what i've done is i've actually used a belt to shorten it now looking at the try on i would definitely wear sheer tights for this like a 15 to 20 denier i do feel like the dress is quite short so I would wear tights with it in real life. And by real life, I mean when I'm not trying it on in my office. So then I've added my black chunky boots from Garni. These boots I absolutely love. I have a 10% Farfetch discount code uh, when it comes to these boots. So you can get yourself a cheeky 10% off. I'll link my discount code down below because it has actually changed. And then I've thrown in the blazer. Like for me, this is getting lunch with friends, having a meet around the stores kind of outfit that is it for this video that is six ways which i would style blazers in autumn blazers are my go-to so i will continue to show you different ways which i style blazers but i thought i would do a dedicated video just for blazers but i style them up all the time i will continue to style them and if you want more fashion inspo outfit inspo definitely follow me over on instagram because i post daily fashion content over there that's it for today. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if it was helpful. And I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.